Today, I'm heading to the Dollar Tree and picking up some supplies and some wood because I'm going to make several beautiful high-end Christmas decor for only a few dollars. So let's get started. For the first DIY, I will be making wooden trees using a couple of these wood planks from the Dollar Tree. I love the patterns on these. I'm going to be cutting them into nine pieces each at a 45 degree angle on both sides so it looks like a trapezoid. And here are the measurements with the base being the following length. So once that is cut, I'm going to be gluing them onto a paint stir stick and you will need two of them. I will be painting them white, but first I sand the edges of the wood and the paint sticks to smooth it out. I will be making two trees, one larger than the other, so I lay the cut wood on top of the paint sticks just to see how they look and to mark the area on the paint sticks that will need to be trimmed. Now on the smaller tree, the second to the top trapezoid is a bit narrow on top, so I want to make sure to place that on the narrow part of the paint stick as well. And then I just mark the top and bottom area that I want to trim down. And once trimmed, I glue the cut wood onto the paint sticks. And this is really easy to assemble. I start from the top and work my way down. I'm using wood glue slash multi-purpose glue that you can use hot glue as well. This just gives me a little time to make sure the pieces are centered. And these cut pieces fit so nicely together. If you prefer, you can also space these out and I think that would look beautiful as well. These wood planks do have a front and back, with the front being the smoother side compared to the back. So just be aware of that. For the smaller tree, I'm going to start off with the piece that's going to go over the narrow handle, making sure I have enough space on top to glue the small triangle. And then I glue down the bottom too. These trees look so beautiful already. To make the base, I'm using a couple scrap 5 gallon paint stir sticks that I had and 8 tumbling tower blocks. I'm going to be trimming the blocks to fit around the base of the tree, but if you don't want to do that, you can just take two blocks and glue them to the front and back like so. But I will be trimming the blocks as well as the 5 gallon paint sticks to the following size. I'm using a miter box and saw, so if you're going to as well, be careful because these are small pieces. I apply glue on the bottom of the larger tree and I place the tree on top. And then I apply some glue on the base towards the front and back of the tree like so. And then I place the 1 inch blocks on there making sure they're laying flat. And then I glue the 1 and 3 8 inch block to the left and right of the base of the tree. I want to do a whitewash on the trees, so I grab some paper towels and I dilute my white paint with some water. I started with a 1 to 1 ratio of paint and water, but then ended up adding a little more water to the mixture to thin it out even more. So I brush the paint on with a foam brush and I work in small sections because I don't want the paint to dry. Then I grab my paper towel and wipe off the wet paint. I want these trees to be white, but I still want to see the beautiful wood patterns underneath as well. So I continue brushing on the paint and then wiping it off immediately. You can definitely paint or stain whatever color you prefer. I did consider staining it as well, but in the end, I'm really happy I went with white. I added some spackle to close off any gaps and spaces and we're done. I love how these trees turned out. The wood has a nice thickness to it, which gives it a more high-end look. And I love that it's white, yet you can still see the beautiful grains and patterns underneath. For the next project, I'm going to be using this round wooden plywood from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to add some color and I will be using Waverly Antique Wax as well as black and white acrylic paint. Honestly, I couldn't decide whether to go with the black or white. 
so I went with both. I'm going to divide the circle into three parts and I start off by laying down three strips of painter's tape to the top and bottom of the circle. I apply Waverly Antique Wax on the center and I'm just using a damp cloth to apply that all over. I am also being extra careful around the tape, making sure it doesn't seep in under the tape. Although it did, but once I painted on the acrylic paint, it did clean it up nicely. Then I remove the extra tape and I tape off the edge of the antique wax section. These rounds are a bit thin, so you can definitely double them up to make them thicker if you'd like. And then I apply the black paint on the bottom. And the white on top. Again, being careful not to let the paint seep underneath the painter's tape. I peel off the tape and wow, look at that. Nice and clean. I bought this pack of laser cut wood words from the Dollar Tree. It says home and it's a thick piece of wood and you get two of them. On the round wood, I'm going to place the word home sweet home. So I'll also be using these small wooden letters, which I got at Michael's. I'm going to paint the words white and I'm using acrylic paint from Craftsmart. I am trying to be so careful not to get any paint on the sides of the word because if I get a little paint on the sides, then I'm going to have to paint the whole thing and I really don't want to. It is a little harder to avoid on the smaller letters, so I paint it all white. Now that everything is dried, it's time to put it all together. Now the Dollar Tree has a lot of choices for Christmas florals and they are so pretty. I will be using a couple of this frosted greenery with red berries. I want to place a nice big bow right in the top center. So I was looking for a ribbon that was black and white and I found one. I love the pattern on this one. I take the berry stems and I hold them opposite each other, but they were a little too long so I cut off the thick bottom. Then I gather them up and place them in opposite directions again, and I just reposition them until I like the way they look. I cut off a piece of jute twine and I wrap that around the center of the stems. I double knot it and glue that down towards the top middle. In my last video, I showed you a very simple way to make a bow, and this time I'm going to show you another way, which I find it to be a little faster once you get the hang of it. So first, I pull out some ribbon. Now determine how long you want your tail to be, and then gather it on the top like so. And this will be the center of the ribbon. Then form a loop, bringing the ribbon towards the back center and pinching them together, and this will be the right side of the bow. So here you can make your adjustments, making the loops bigger or smaller. Move the tail to the side, and then you're going to form another loop on the opposite side, gathering it towards the center and making sure the loops are even. Then I twist the ribbon, making another loop, gathering it towards the center, then twisting it again, forming another loop on the opposite side and gathering it in the center. And then I form the center loop like so, and then I just take a twist tie, you can also use pipe cleaners or zip ties, and I slide that through the small center loop and twist it in the back. I trim the ends and that is it. You can actually make this as big as you want, adding as much loops as you like. Before I glue the bow down, I glue the words. Here I am trying to decide on the placement, so I'm just playing around with it until I like the way it looks. I glue the words down and I use a popsicle stick to make sure it goes on straight and even. And then I glue the bow on top. I pop the jute twine back in and I am done. This came out so beautiful. I love the colors, the black, white, and antique wax. Such a sweet looking sign. I love it. The Dollar Tree has a huge variation of Christmas ornaments 
and I'm going to use a couple of them for the next DIY. For this project, I picked up this glittery reindeer and this two pack of white shimmery trees. I will also be using another one of these wood planks. I removed the greenery and bow on the reindeer and I'm going to switch that up with something else. I trimmed the wood to about 9 inches, then I placed the reindeer and trees on the wood so I can figure out the placement of them. And I like the way it looks with the reindeer in the middle and the trees on each side. The trees are angled on the bottom, so I decided to drill a little hole where I'm going to place them, not deep enough to hold it up on its own, just a little hole where I can place the glue in. You can also use a craft knife to carve it out even more. Now if you don't want to drill a hole, you can also trim the base of the tree so that it lays flat. There are some holes on the top of the trees, so I cover it up with a little spackle. I'm going to cut a small piece of this Canadian pine, which I got at Hobby Lobby. It was about $1.50 for a pack of 24, and I'm going to wrap it around the reindeer's neck. I was going to put this bow on top of the pine, it is pretty, but I wasn't really sure if that's what I wanted on there, so I thought I would decide later. I'm going to paint the wood with white acrylic paint and thin it out with just a little bit of water. I do want it to go on thick, but not too thick. So I brush the paint on the wood with a foam brush, and then I wipe it off with a paper towel before it dries. And then once that dries, I give it a little sanding to give it a distress look. Then I apply hot glue on the hole that I drill, and I place the tree in there and hold it in place for a few seconds until the glue sets. Then I glue down the other tree. I apply glue on the bottoms of the reindeer's feet and place it in the center. To cover up some of the gaps where the base of the tree was placed, I smooth in some spackle and then I immediately remove the excess with a foam brush. You can definitely leave it on there, it actually looks like snow. To elevate it, I paint two tumbling tower blocks and glue them right under. And that's it for this one. This came out so beautiful. I love that it's all white and shimmery and it will definitely go with any Christmas decor. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye!